there's a lot of outrage and upset that's happening in all of our communities with the recovery of these children. Uh, but at the same time, it's creating some uh, opportunity to really get people to understand this is what we've been talking about for decades now, is that the historical traumas of what's happened to our world is the, is the reason why we're dealing with these social and health problems in our communities, why the violence and the addictions and the suicides are so high, because there's a context to all of that. And so at the age of 10, I was sent away um, along with my friend Lizzie away for school, with, with, which I, I still have not found the, the, the true uh, uh, reason behind why our parents would have said yes to that. Um, because nobody really spoke about those times where we had there was a lot of control over our lives. And so at the age of 10, Lizzie and I were sent off, we were the youngest in my region really, to be sent away to a family that had been working up here in, the, in, in our community. And, and that was a real shocker. And you know, the trauma that went with all of that was really just quite horrific for 10 year olds to deal with. And we're still dealing with that at our adult age today in terms of new revelations as to what that trauma has, uh, has really changed our DNA throughout our lives. And so, um, and then after two years of living with this family, we, we were sent off to the residential school that was government run, not mission run, thank God, because even though it was tough and it was very kind of militant and we were in dormitories far away from home, being reprogrammed, deprogrammed to be reprogrammed in a sense and very contained in this setting that we were in for, I was there for three years. Um, you know, it, it really did impact on us, even though we didn't have the atrocities and the abuses that these mission run residential schools have had. It's the fact that we were really far away from home and we lost a lot of those incredible developmental years culturally that we would have learned so much better if we had been remained home and this the, the severing with our parents at such young age um you know really has taken a toll on many of us so those are the you know the and but it's not to say that there were other inuit not just the ones that we were sent off to churchill manitoba like we were about 200 of us each year for about 11 years that that school opened. But there were others that were sent and, and under the, uh, the control of the mission schools in Nunavut um, and some in Nunavik, but in Nunavut in particular. And you, the abuses that went on there were the very same as the residential schools with the First Nations. Indeed, um, lots of issues there that we're dealing with now. But again, it, it, it it, I think it's an opportune time to get the rest of, of Canadians and, and, and civil society across the world to understand the context of this, uh, these historical traumas and the, the tumultuous changes that have happened to a people that have suppressed and oppressed us for so long. And as a result of that, it's the human cost um, and the spiritual cost, all of these issues that we're dealing with today with the highest suicide rates in North America.